Let me Come on, man. Let no, me. right here, buddy. Come on. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> This better not go on TV. <laughs> it's in the blooper reel. <laughs> Didn't have oh, to be say that started. <laughs> yeah. It was our first day of planting corn. I mean, if anybody says they plant corn on their first day, they don't have breakdowns, they're full. David did. <laughs> well, except they, they didn't have any cameras going when I started playing corn. I can okay. assure you of that. Good. Well, Kevin's not the only guy that has those struggles. I think that is the, the thing that makes it so unique. Uh, what we do is, uh, you know, you can just have everything that you do at one time fall apart. Floods, the breakdown stuff, they never breaks down. I mean, you just don't know what it can be from day to day. You're trying to plant corn and you got a camera there and you can't say what you really want to say. You know, it's just aggravating, you know, when, when things don't go right. And I think that's with everybody. Well, I'm not quite as bad as Mike. I think Mike's <laughs> got me beat on that. The okay. volume you got me, I think I might be a little more creative. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think the biggest problem is I have red equipment. <laughs> uh, I hear nothing on the, the YouTube. Uh, I get a lot of crap for red equipment, I guess. I guess green is the best, so... Uh, Maybe we can work on that a little bit next year, uh, getting some, some more green equipment on the farm. And if I could have a, a picture of a weather every year, minus the flood, that's what we had. I mean, we had as, as perfect growing conditions as what you could, what I could ever ask for. I mean, it was great for us. <laughs> it's not what you know, it's who you know. Right. Yeah. So now we ran into some hail, but we, you know, we too, we had a great, it started out perfect for us. Mm -hmm. And then we got rained out. So that's when, after that rain event, that's when Seth and the crew came out to start doing some video, because if it hadn't rained us out, we'd have been done before they finally caught up with us. And then, you know, lo and behold, I get wished upon hail, and then we got <laughs> hail, and then, you know, we missed the rest of it. We just missed rain from then on, so we were just dry, and that's what made air crop, because we just had sunshine. And, you know, tempered heat, temperature, you know, some areas were hot, but, you know, we just got sunshine. Whatever you plan on happening does not happen in farming. I mean, uh, you can you can just think everything's great, but actually, cor or like harvesting corn ain't over till till you have it at the elevator. You got to check, you know. So um, I don't know. I would like to be on that guy's farm. That's all I can say. I I, I trade him farms. That's, this is what we do. So you get used to you get used to this all the time. Yeah. You get used to the ups and downs, and you don't think about it as much, but. When you step back and actually look at it, it there is a lot more. I don't want to say drama, but there is a lot of a lot stuff. Of a lot of stuff can go wrong. I mean, you know. I do want to know when you had that flood go away. Did you have mud all on the corn? We had mud on the corn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, any corn was left. I swear. Uh, yeah. I figured. Like I said, away. you went around the edge of the river there, uh, and we're talking corn that was 12, 13, 14 foot tall. I mean, it was flat going and I don't have a drone so uh, I come around to shell along the rail railroad tracks I was like man this is gonna be good corn and I get around to the river and I was like oh yeah. you know because down in the it got kind of a high sandbar and then it goes down into the lower part of the, the bottom there and I was like oh my god it's all dead you know at least either that or we thought that um, um, it would be so wet laying so wet that you know, it really hurt to yield, but it goes back to us tiling. We don't have a, our problem is not dry weather. You know, we, we can grow corn on, on dry weather. It is wet weather with our high uh, clay content. So we went in there and that was the field that we just tiled on 25 foot centers. And man, I tell you what, it made a believer out of us that tile. So, uh, but yeah, we were, we were lucky. I mean, really, really lucky. Actually, when it, the river below us, uh, they were uh, filled up, so it was actually back in the water up. So it wasn't like we had headwater mm -hmm. running through it like we did on the April 28th rain. Okay. So uh, yeah, it was 
Well, we used lucky. to farm some farms that were on water and they get flooded, and usually because of hurricanes, just yeah. push water up yeah. the river, not because of rain. Which upstream. probably had a little wind or something yeah, like that with but it. But it was not, it wasn't the water as bad as all the crap that was in the field. field. Yeah. You know, trees and, you know, wash yeah. machines yeah. and you name it, it's just all <laughs> kinds of stuff. And Toyota then, Corolla. You gotta clean that up. <laughs> yeah. You know, when the tree moves in the field, a wash yeah. machine is pushing yeah. corn over. Well, so I, I think what I think that. what saved us on that part was the April 28th flood cleaned everything out. Sure. So, because yeah. Um, yeah, we, I mean, we had uh, our high lift. We got a big 973 uh, high lift, cat high lift, about a 60 some thousand pound machine there. And it had some debris in there, trees and stuff that you know it was pretty good push for him to get it out. So it was. Yeah. I don't want to have that year again. Put it away yeah. that way. It was. I don't wish that on anybody. Even the king to beat the king. We don't want yeah. that to, to yeah. happen to anybody. Your neighbor there wants hail though. <laughs> <laughs> I wish for something different next year. <laughs> yeah. yeah, locusts. <laughs> <maybe>. <laughs> A biblical event. <laughs>
to get an eagle. No, I push my yields to make my farm more, more profitable. We got we got a little playpen that we, which like everybody else, you always work on. And I, like David said, you have more failures than uh, successes, but we pick one or two things up. And, you know, our whole corn crop, you know, we had the best corn crop ever with probably um, 10, 15% less cost of inputs just because we are getting more efficient. We know what works uh, and what don't work. So there's no guessing anymore, I should say. We've learned enough that we don't guess on our corn crop. And I think that's what a lot of people think, that you go out and throw a bunch of nitrogen. Well, on our farm, it don't take a bunch of nitrogen. You know, we don't spend a lot of money on nitrogen on our farm, and that's what a lot of people, I think, think, that we just, all everybody in it just throws a crap load of stuff out there and hope and pray it works. I mean, all in all, I call today a very good success. I mean, two pretty nice bulls we had today. I don't care who you are, that's really good corn. And I knew, I mean, I thought, man, this, going off the, the monitor, what it was kicking out, you know, I figured that first test would be around that 390. And then I got out and they said 359. I was like, what? There's no way. Uh, but it was right. Second cut went 366, I believe. Everybody wants to hit that 400 mark, but you know, there's just a hand few of guys that's ever done that. It just tells you how hard it is. You know, you, you take this and you learn and hopefully next year you get better. Uh, family farm, it's me and my son uh, working it now. And my father actually still farms, but on his own. Um, so uh, yeah, we're uh, and we actually have to try to do. We do some trucking and uh, excavating to try to help with the income because we're not a real large, you know, operation. So it's we're but we're kind of helps us be diversified. So we're um, you know we can make we can utilize our time and our finances pretty well through everything we can integrate pretty well because with the excavating equipment I need a lot of that on the farm anyway just always am eager to learn and figure out how things work and we're going to try to implement some things and and try a few new things so um, I guess we're hoping that mother nature is better to us this year because I I think the last couple years I've had 400 bushel potential but mother nature just didn't give me the opportunity to get it so and the way I look at it too is everybody says well you can't afford to spend these kind of dollars in a 350 market or a sub 4 market well what if we get some of this figured out and we can pull some 400 bushel corn and all of a sudden we have six dollar corn well then we're going to be in pretty good spot probably trying to increase our soil biology a little more and just get a healthier soil we're hoping that maybe use more of the nutrients that are in the soil instead of applying as many and getting our ratios closer so you can utilize um, all the nutrients better. Um, we're probably a little closer on that. You know, we've been uh, getting a little closer on that. So that's what we're at. We're, we're like everybody, we're still going to go for 400, you know, that that's, it's when you're sitting next to Mr. Hooley, you know, it's like 400, what are you talking about? I, I can grow that in the kitchen, you know. But, but, but that's a really, it's a, it's a heck of a lofty goal for us. And we need, uh, we need more sunlight. We need the right weather to get it. I think we've got the tools and the place and the fertility and the knowledge to do it, but we got to have the weather yet. You know, for 2018, my daughter Weeks can provide me a grandson, possibly this week. Oh wow. Time. wow. So I'm going to be spending focusing on cultivating that next generation. Yeah, right. So I'm going to ask my son to kind of step up to the plate and okay. start helping out on the farm more so because he's he's been really big in their production side. So, you know, it'd be neat to see him start doing things and he's got ideas and so anxious to watch that. So that you know, those two goals is to see the next generation step up. Well, at home, you know, we were picking good corn. It just wasn't the corn that we were hoping to see. Uh, the early April planted corn came, got a great start. Things were looking good. We rarely get hail on our farm. 
well, 2017, every irrigated field of corn I had had some degree of hail, which is like, wow. And then at home we had a, a strong wind event, so we had some lodging, some green snap and some brittle snap and some corn. And the corn that survived that, you know, we were picking decent corn. I mean, I'm saying upper 200s to mid 300s. So year in and year out, that would be good. But knowing the effort and the work that we were putting into it and the potential that land has had in the past, it wasn't the yields that we were hoping for. Another reason why you want to spread your risk out, we had some other irrigated corn planted later in May. It missed all that heat we're anticipating or hoping that corn is going to do better so we will see yeah oh, wow. oh, he's got to put it oh no sir <laughs> yeah we'll just sit it right here <laughs> yeah that is oh too funny i'll be so glad to pass this on down we, we want to see it on his head yeah. I just feel way uncomfortable. With it. Yeah. yeah, what do you think All of right, that? There you go. Did y'all get a picture? Yeah. <laughs> I already got one at home. <laughs>